Top Notch family, what is going on? So I've been seeing Russell Westbrook get a lot of hate from NBA writers, a lot of fans, and all over the internet because of this one comment he said right here. It says, to be honest, my skill set was unique. They just didn't put me in the position to be unique. I was in a position where I was playing not my position. Now, I'm a diehard Russell Westbrook fan, but one thing about me is I'm not a biased Russell Westbrook fan. I keep it real. What I will say is, right, when you look at that Washington Wizards team, that Washington Wizards team was not even supposed to be in the playoffs. Don't forget, they were an eighth seed and Russell Westbrook carried them, carried that bum team. That team was absolutely awful. They played the number one team in the Eastern Conference that year was the Philadelphia 76ers. So the fact that Russell Westbrook brought that team to the playoffs and competed against the 76ers and he's still getting hate is absolutely crazy. Did you forget the numbers that he put up on that wizard scene? That was a 2020-2021 year. He was averaging 22 points a game, 11.5 rebounds, and 11.7 assists. Now, I get it. Russell Westbrook takes a lot of dumb shots. He forces a lot of turnovers. His IQ at moments isn't the greatest. But for you to say that he's garbage and this and that is totally false because with the Washington Wizards, he was playing with his style of play. Simple as that. Russell Westbrook needs the ball in his hands and he needs shooters around him and he needs everybody around him set him screens or pop out. Help him out. He can't just sit in a corner all day and shoot threes. We all know Russell Westbrook is not a great three-point shooter. He can't play off ball at all. He needs the ball in his hand. So when he's playing with the Denver Nuggets, he is the backup point guard. He's going to be running that offense. There's a reason why OKC days, he was so excellent. Yes, I will say OKC days, he had that mid-range and now he doesn't, but he had the ball in his hands majority of the time. He needs to run the offense and that's why he's saying that. So the Washington Wizards days, he played great. Well, let me not say great. He played pretty, pretty good to lead that bum team to the playoffs. Now, a lot of people forget even on the Houston Rockets, him and James Harden, that was a terrible style of play. They had terrible coaching. They had P.J. Tucker at the five. Do you guys remember that? That was terrible. Now, before he got hurt, he was balling. The Houston Rockets were playing excellent basketball. They even took one game from the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, after that, he did get exposed because he couldn't shoot. That's facts. But don't forget about that injury that impacted a lot of things. Then you go look at the Lakers. The Lakers were just a straight disaster. It was not a good fit at all. The, the season before um, with the Clippers, I think he played great. The, le the latest season with the Clippers, he played awful. You need He needs the ball in his hands to play his best um, style of basketball. It's simple as that. But let me know what you guys think about this.